Oh, hey folks, how you doing? It's Paul with you. Um, forgive me while I eat one of these uh, Warhead ooze chews. And of course, ooze means like if you're oozing pus or oozing blood. So ooze is kind of like leaking. So ooze chews. So let's have a taste of this. And uh, mm. they're sweet and then sour. Anyway, folks, how are you? Um, this is, oh, sorry, got that wrapped up around my tonsils there. Uh, this is Sunday morning, and I'm going to take today, and I'm going to show you some amazing people, and uh, I want you to take a look at it, and it is what makes a lot of us people that are 55 years old and more, what makes us who we are. When I was young, I didn't have much going for me, but I was wiry. I was runtish, but I was wiry. And uh, I did have that uh, ability uh, to do what I had to do. And I always took from American football, and at that time, American football was a tough game, folks. It wasn't like it is now. It was much worse, much more violent. They didn't have the rules to protect like they do now. And uh, um, now that I look at it, I think back to myself and I say, it's a really good thing that I picked uh, football players at that time to be my heroes and to emulate because even though I didn't really do it when I was young, the basic idea stuck with me. And folks, sometimes it's all you got. I grew up poor. I mean, really poor. Uh, mostly. I had an auntie who spoiled me occasionally. But for the most part, we grew up poor. And uh, it was not easy. And life in general isn't easy. And I think back on this. And uh, I want to show you a couple players today because American football is different than any other sport. It is the sport of war. And I guess that's what got me thinking about the Ukraine war today. It was something that Johnny Unitas said. And uh, Johnny Unitas, I heard an interview with him one time. I'll show you Johnny Unitas. Um, he's one of the greatest, one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever lived. And... Uh, Boy, he was tough. And a sign of all Americans at that time. I don't know about now because they're trying to change things around. But he started playing in the late 50s. And uh, he um, he was called up to try to beat Joe Namath in that 1969 um, fiasco. And uh, Johnny Udenitis came in and threw a touchdown, but he could not uh, get back the 16 points they needed to tie up the Jets. Now, I'm going to show you um, Johnny Unitas and what a perfect role model to be. And I just heard a story about him. He was a real tough dude. He was really tough. And um, what he did was he didn't play any games. I didn't know this, but... Um, I don't know if I can see this. Uh, hang on, and I'll let you hear it yourself. I found it, folks. Why don't you just watch it? I don't remember him too well. I was just a little shaver. But I remember the look of him. Sometimes you can tell by 
you break his nose, he'd get right back up and come back. Sometimes they'd hit him and his finger would kind of point this way. And he wouldn't even come out of the game. He'd run to the sideline, he'd hold his hand out, and he'd say, fix this thing. That was Johnny Unitas. Somebody breaks through the line and takes your head and pushes it down on the ground as a quarterback, you call the same play, and then you throw the, the ball right through his helmet, <laughs> right into his nose, and break his nose. Uh, well, that was Johnny Unitas, and um, he was famous. Um, if you ever look at him, it was an iconic image, and he was just so amazing. He was such an amazingly tough man and dirt poor. Dirt poor. He wound up going to the Baltimore Colts. And I know a little bit about John Unitas. He was a very honorable, decent man. And um, he was tough and very disciplinarian, and, uh, very much a disciplinarian, and um, uh, including himself and his players, too. And... Um, he fought and fought for the team to become a championship team because Baltimore, I don't know, like in Russia, I don't know if there are any towns that could be kind of like it. They probably are. But Baltimore is a major town. It's a major city. And I remember it when I was three years old. I remember we spent the night one time. I don't know where we were driving, but I remember getting up uh, early in the morning and going outside into the very grayish cold morning and I looked around in Baltimore and I just remember it looked like and it was nothing you wanted to remember and um, it was just kind of a dank depressing town and that was back in like 66 that must have been 65 or 66 that was right when Unitas was playing and he became loved by the Baltimore fans because it was all they had. And that's what they say in this biography of him. And indeed, with Johnny Unitas, um, when the uh, team was sold, and they sold the team in the middle of the night, the Cleveland Browns did the same thing. All the players wound up getting sold. The whole team got sold to Baltimore. They became the Baltimore Ravens to this day. And that happened in the... Uh, I guess it was the late 90s. I forgot, but it was, it was right around that time. Art Modell sold the team, and the players all went to Baltimore. But the Browns kept their uh, orange helmet, and they formed a new team. Uh, and uh, the Baltimore Colts were sold to Indianapolis, which is, you know, Indianapolis Colts. And when that happened, Johnny Unitas was steadfast in his rejection of the whole thing. He felt like the people from Baltimore were screwed and he had no part of it. And um, I think he owned a car dealership. But um, anyways, um, he was really a good man. And uh, Johnny Unitas holds one of the most impressive poses of any athlete of any time. And it's no wonder why... Um, it looks so amazing. Iconic picture of Johnny Unitas. Okay, images of Johnny Unitas. Well, that was certainly Johnny Unitas. <laughs> but there was one, and that was probably his football card. He was just a straight up, um, he was just a straight up dude. But um, they had one iconic photo of him, if I can find it. And I will show it to you. Stand by. I found it. It didn't take too terribly long. And there it is. Uh, that is an iconic pose. And um, just showed the ruggedness of uh, the Americans, in my opinion. And um, he was uh, just a tough, tough man. And um, that is a famous pose right there. 
and there was nothing fancy about Johnny Unitas, but he was just a tough man. So there you have it, my first video of the day, and we are going to go over a couple that I really admire. Uh, take care, and I'll be back with another one. Bye.